Okay, so I'm just starting up Barry Boot. When I get to this screen, if I hit the Edit menu, uh, it will come out into this normal Berry Boot menu editor. And Berry Boot is a great way of installing multiple OSs on an SSD drive, uh, and I've, I've been really impressed with it. So let's show you, I've already got videos on how to install an OS, but I wanted to show how to install an OS that you've downloaded off the web uh, from the Berry Boot website, which are images which are already created to install into Berry Boot. So they're already prepared and converted and, and ready to work. So if I click on Add OS, uh, you can see in here I've got various different OS's and I can scroll down and have a look through. But if the image you want isn't in here, uh, this is basically what I wanted to show. So I've been doing videos recently on Ubuntu 18.04.4, the LTS version, the long-term support. And uh, this is the older version. So if I want the newer version, what do I have to do? So we need to go onto another computer to download the image onto a USB stick. So let's do that first. Okay, so this is the website you need to go to and I'll put a link in the description for it uh, to basically download images that are compatible with your Raspberry Pi. And there's all sorts of Raspberry Pis supported here. I concentrate on the Raspberry Pi 4 because that's the one I've got. Uh, so let's search for, well let's search for LTS and see if it comes up under that. If not, I'll do a search for Ubuntu. Peach Pi, Ubuntu 18.0, there you go. So 18.04.4 LTS pre-install server for Raspberry Pi 2, 3 and 4. So let's download that image. So that's taken us to a link. Looks like it's going to download on its own. There you go. So while that's downloading, let's have a look. Oh, it's not very long at all. So while that's downloading, I will put in uh, my USB stick, which is a FAT32 formatted USB stick, and you'll see that turn up on my screen. And I'm actually using my RetroPie stick, which I'm imagining I've got enough space on there for, for this image. Right, so there's my stick. And you can see that uh, the RetroPie mount one is a, just ignore everything that's on there. Uh, you want to be copying that image, I guess, to the root of this memory stick. Well, let's see how much storage we've got on it. So, we've got 13 gig available. So, I need to get some more ROMs on there, really, don't I? So, that's nearly downloaded. Let's open that in Finder. And we need to unzip this image. Uh, so on a Mac, you just double click on it and it'll unzip. Obviously a similar process for Windows. Okay, and this is the one. So Berry Boot image, you can see it there uh, if I hold on it. So let's just drag that over to my 32 gig stick. Pop it in there. And once that's done, we need to plug that USB stick into the Pi. Okay, so I'm booting up now. Let's click on the edit menu. Uh, so that takes you back to uh, the operating systems that are installed on my Pi. Now I haven't plugged the USB stick in because when I just tried to boot with my USB stick in, uh, it didn't boot. Uh, it didn't. Um, it didn't show up. So I found this with lots of images on Raspberry Pi. Sometimes if you've got too many things plugged in, and I've got an SSD plugged into this Pi. Uh, and uh, what Ethernet cable and then mouse and keyboard and having this extra USB seemed to not like it. So now it's booted up. Uh, I can plug my USB stick in. So I'll plug it into one of the USB 3 ports uh, and uh, what you need to do to add the OS is to press and hold, so left click and hold on here and then you see this comes up, copy OS from USB stick. So we'll click on that and here we are, oh, you can see it's come up. Uh, this is the first time I've seen this, I, I just figured it would work, so I thought I'd try it and do it and record it as a video. So click on Ubuntu, uh, hit open, I'm guessing, because there's not an awful lot else there to do. So now once that's finished, you can see that it's shown up in this list. So let's click on it and set as default and see what happens. We'll click exit. You can see that it started up and it still says Ubuntu, so I'm going to let it uh, boot on its own. So I've got four OS's on here now. So I've just looked back on the website and it actually mentions that uh, login details 
uh, username is root and password is blank. So root Now you might not need this step, but uh, I successfully just installed it, but I couldn't get any passwords to work. Uh, so I'm following a different guide. So I'm gonna put in sudo add user Lee. See if this works. Enter new password, so create a password for that. Enter the new value or press enter for default full name. Let's just go Lee. Room number, work phone, home phone, other. Is the information correct? Yes. So put in sudo apps dash get install Ubuntu dash desktop. And we'll say yes. Okay, so when you get to this stage, just type reboot. Okay, so you might not need this next step. Uh, mine failed to boot, it was in 4K, uh, and my capture card also doesn't work in 4K, so I need to put a line into edit.config to, uh, to change it so it boots at 1080. This is the line I've added, HDMI ignore, and this basically forces it to be at 1080. So you add that line in, click on OK. Uh, I'm gonna click on uh, Ubuntu and set default, and then do exit and I'll let it count down and boot in itself just to show that it's working. And I'll do this in real time so you can see how quick it happens. Okay, so here's the username that I created. So let's click on that, pop my password in. And here we are. So now we have Ubuntu running from the SSD uh, using Berry Boot. So if I go into the file structure, uh, and have a look. You can see my 16 gig would be my boot drive uh, and then if I click on other locations I'm not sure this 461 megabyte is but if I click on computer you can see well 92.6 gig so this is my SSD uh, and I still have access to this I don't know what you can change in here whether or not I haven't really looked fully into it but uh, so that's the boot folder temp folder run media and so on so let's just have a look and see how quick everything opens up from SSD. So obviously this process will get quicker because it, it depends how, how many times you've rebooted to, to see how well it goes. So if I was to click on something like tiled, I don't know what that is. Flexible tile map editor. I thought it was gonna be a Tetris game. Uh, so let's try Firefox. And this isn't overclocked, this is just running at, uh, at normal settings. The only thing I've changed is that 1080, uh, which seemed to fix it. Uh, so, hot UK deals. Click on that. Yeah, seems to be running all right. I've got other videos on, on Ubuntu 18.04.4. So have a look at that if you want to see a bit more about the operating system. But I'm going to experiment and see how many other things I can get installed uh, on this SSD using Barry Boot because uh, it's it's impressive. So I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.